Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm going to show you a new method that I'll be using for sign chaining. I don't know if it's really new, but it is new for me and I think this is the best method to do it. I actually found out about it from one of the people who work for ImageLine, so I wanted to share it with you as well. So the way we're going to do it is use low filter. So here is a little sound I prepared. And it's on Mixer Track 5. So I'm going to go to Mixer Track 5, load up Low Filter. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn Resampling to 0. We're going to turn off the filter, because otherwise it would sound like this. But if you just turn off the filter, you get the same sound, so it's not affected. And then here you can see Volume and Pattern Envelope. So that's what we have to have selected. And we're basically going to create an envelope that's going to repeat. So right click to create a point and then right click on the point again, choose sustain loop end and then right click on the first point and do loop start. Basically that means it's going to repeat over and over, but these points always start at the same level. So we need to create one more point and also enable the envelope. So I'm creating the points by right clicking. You can do so any amount of times and then delete them by right clicking on them and clicking delete. And also important thing is to hold the alt key. So the points snap to the grid. At least the last point has to be at the end of this grid. This essentially is one bar repeating forever. So here is how it sounds now. And we could call that sign chain already, but we can uh, perfect it so it's a little bit better. And the thing is, you only need to do this once and then you can save your preset and just load it up anytime you need sign chain. So I'm going to create one more point here. I'm going to make the first one start a bit higher. I'm going to move this one down and going to do something like this. Maybe not quite like that. Let's create one more point and do like a pretty smooth line there. And always remember to hold Alt key and snap the last point to the end of the grid. Otherwise it would be offbeat sort of sign chaining, which wouldn't work that well. So here's an example of one sign chain we could use. And this is sort of to emulate the Kickstarter plugin or the LFO tool. You can use this instead. It's free. It's in FL Studio. Really easy to use. So without it, it's like this. And with it, it's like this. I actually prepared a few presets that you can use using this same technique. You can create your own as well. I just wanted to show you how so you can understand it. But if you want, you can download my presets. They will be free. I will link them below. So here is a big sign chain. Next one is the classic sign chain. Let's zoom in. This one has this click to it, but this next one is classic smooth with no click. And then a few more. This one is like super hard sign chain. And yeah, that's it. That's all the presets I created. Yeah, this has been a really short tutorial. I just wanted to show you this new way of sign chaining. I think this is the way that I'm going to be using from now on because it's the easiest. Once you do it once, you can just use it forever and you don't have to buy a plugin like a Kickstart or something like that. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.